Hey there, Chickadee. Okay, today is the 15th of August, 2021. Uh, so year two, SEM 1 for uni has just started for both of us, Jeremiah and myself. And you know, since the previous video where we tested our one rep maxes, gyms have been closed for about two weeks here in Singapore. And so for today, we'll just be getting in the groove, you know, so no heavy lifting uh, warning will be issued for this video. Still, parental guidance is recommended. And try not to listen too much, you know, don't, don't listen, don't listen and watch too intently. Because if you do, you may make too much strength gains and muscle gains. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are starting off with squats for fat legs today. So starting with the warm-up, we're going to do empty bar squats to really warm up the knees, the ankles, the hips, the glutes. And so, you know, warming up is really crucial to, to remaining injury-free, especially in a gym setting where it's air-conditioned. So I, I, I tend not to have uh, an issue with cold starts actually, and I use more of these uh, warm-up warm -up sets as more of a feel set. So to get used to the movement where I adjust my body, adjust my foot placing to really get in the groove and make sure I feel the muscles working. Okay, if you can hear me, we are doing about 5 working sets for squats. Uh, we stick about 3 10 kg plates because it's been some time since we have squatted and uh, our rest time in between is going to be 1 minute 30. Okay, you heard the guy, uh, we are going to do 5 sets of 80 kg squats and regarding our rest time, you know this is really up to personal preference, right? Uh, training style, intensity and your general timetable. So for Jeremiah and I, we want to stick to a rest time that's not too short so that we can recover slightly in between the sets to move some good weight but at the same time not too long so that our whole workout becomes too lengthy. right? So 130 we found is actually our sweet spot. And we recommend you to really test out different rest times, find your own sweet spot. And generally, 30 seconds to 2 minute 30 seconds is an okay rest period range for the average lifter. Okay, now on to the glute machine and hamstring curl supersets. So here, Jeremiah is in his I Love SG mask, <laughs> wrapping it out and me at the back there. So the glute machine is actually a really excellent uh, machine that isolates your glutes and it's not only for the ladies so guys feel free to hop on the machine once in a while and get the juicy cheeks <laughs> okay so glute strength is really cru crucial i would say in all lifts but especially the squat and the deadlift right when we use our lower part of the body much more so working your glutes will really help in long-term squatting numbers and hamstring curls a great way to isolate your hamstrings and build total leg strength. Uh, people generally have more developed quads than hamstrings and building up your hamstrings can make your legs look more proportional and increase your stability when you're standing. My first leg day in years. Eh? I'm gonna feel this tomorrow and the day after. Same. Okay, leg extensions. These are a, way, a great way to isolate your quads and make them burn but uh, take note if you have knee injuries leg extensions may not be the best for you because they are known to put a lot of stress on the knee so be careful and start light so you should focus more on the concentric or positive portion of the motion squeezing your quads at the very top in full extension and you can see here Jeremiah is doing it very well <laughs> This is our new friend Shah. Yeah. Okay, you can see Shah here doing the one-legged variation where you can further emphasize and, and fo really focus on that one leg, that one quad at a time. Lastly, we'll be ending the workout with calves. So you can see the weight loaded here is very little. 10 kg for me and 20 kg for Jeremiah. You know, of course, Jeremiah is stronger. <laughs> Oh, that's really a good one. Eh? Hey, my top is small, don't show. Uh, 
Yeah, those will be my calves. So the focus again here, especially on seated uh, calf raises, would be on the form and execution of the exercise rather than the weight, as as with most as with most uh, exercises, right? But especially so on the seated calf raise. So uh, a deep stretch and a tight squeeze at the top for every rep. And Jeremiah is doing it perfectly here again. Uh, whereas I'm still trying to do so, but, but looking like I'm swinging the weight around. So, you know, calves are a really tricky muscle to train. You know, some people have good genetics and they get huge calves from just walking around. Uh, whereas some guys like me have uh, smaller calves. And, you know, Jeremiah thinks he's part of the part of the no calves gang but honestly he should be kicked out of the gang because his calves are not small <laughs> okay that's the end of today's workout i uh, hope you learned something and uh, give this workout a try and let us know what you think always remember 